Hello my PFL family. Today we are going to be continuing along on this application design. Now I want to hurt your feelings a little bit. Um, don't get your hopes up too much. We're not going to start designing yet. Uh, there's one more step that I want to do. Don't shut off the video. We're getting there next. Um, I think this is a pretty important step not only for uh, myself or the designer but also for you guys to see where I'm going with with this design um, I could show you a sketch if you want but that seems kind of boring I thought I would actually do uh, just a quick wireframe kind of like I would do with a normal website design where I block it out uh, get the dimensions of the elements that I want to use um, and see kind of where it's gonna get laid out and then in the next video I promise there will be another one and it's going to be actually adding some color and doing some real designs so stick with me, one more video of non-colorfulness, and then we will get into the fun stuff. So to start off, what I want to do is actually add some guides to here. So I'm just going to drag out from my rulers, and if you don't have rulers on, you can go to Window or View, and Rulers right here, or Command R, so without, with them. And now you can just drag from the rulers and drag out, and it should automatically snap to the edges of the template. Um, uh, one question I get a lot is, what are those uh, orange or those purple guides that you have? And those are smart guides. And I got those by going to View, uh, Show, Smart Guides right there. So you might want to turn that on as well, so you can kind of follow along exactly how I'm doing it. But anyhow, uh, I drew out one guide right there. I'm gonna drag out another one for right, um, right here, and this is gonna block out the edges of the screen. I'm going to drag out one more, one more there, and then you're going to do another one for the top of, uh, so the clock, the title bar up the top, the menu or whatever, that's going to stay there. So I just want to drag out a guide, and then one more for the bottom buttons right there, because I'm going to have bottom buttons. And I think that should be good. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this, uh, this title bar right there. Maybe we'll drag one out just in case. Uh, I might switch that up later. So uh, that's just going to help us snap our vector elements to it. So let's create a new layer above everything, and here I'm going to draw out, let's see, I'll just use normal rectangles, it's going to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to draw out this right here, this little section here, and let's grab a nice gray color, color that in, and then I also want to split that up into, let's see, I think I wanted one, two, three, one, two, three, four. It would go five buttons. So one, two, three, four, five. So just like this right here. Um, let's split that up. Let's add a quick, a quick line. I'm gonna go to the pencil, draw a new layer. It's gonna make it black. So one, and then we'll duplicate it. So one, two, three, and four. Select those, and. Actually, to make our life a little easier, we should probably make one more over here. And then drag this one down and make, oops, make one there. Alright, so we have one at the start, the end, and then the four in the middle. So I'm just going to select all those. Then up here, I'm going to space it by the center, and there we'll evenly space them or distribute, distribute them across. So now I can delete the end ones. And then group this together with a Command E, Control T. And I'm just gonna scale it down like that. There we go. So now we have the spaces for our five buttons. And this is kind of gonna, gonna kind of be uh, my initial thoughts, at least. Are gonna be a Pixel for Life application. So we're gonna have one one spot for probably Twitter, maybe one for contacting us for you know submitting a video request one is going to be our videos and then maybe products and the last one uh, maybe appearances or something I haven't I haven't decided decided that one yet so anyhow uh, there's gonna be icons right here so maybe we can just draw out uh, we don't even need to draw it out but just so you know we'll just have uh, maybe Twitter products would be uh, this would be contact, so we'll just do like a quick bubble. Then this one could be our video, so maybe a quick play button. Then this one will be products, so maybe like a t-shirt. And then this last one will, uh, 
let's just put like information or something like that. I don't know. We could change that later. All right. And now up here, I'm just going to do the video screen, which is going to be this one right here in the center. And I want to block that out. So again, going to grab the pencil tool and a black color, and I'm going to draw one line here. And that's all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to draw one up here, uh, maybe like that. One, two, three, and let's see, we'll draw one all at the top. So let's, again, let's space this, and we're going to space it horizontal. There we go. Go to scale it inwards. Looks good. And then I can draw one vertical line um, going maybe this way right here just to break it up. And then on the left side, I want images. So maybe like an image, a little small preview of the video. So we'll draw that out. And again, you don't have to go for dimensions, you know, perfect dimensions. We're just kind of blocking this out so we get a basic idea. So we'll fill that with gray. And then I will duplicate it down here, duplicate it down here. Or I'll just do it once for now. And then over in this right section, I want that to have a title. So let me change the color and just draw this out. Let me change my font to uh, Helvetica. And we'll do sample title. Make it a little bit smaller. And then down here, we'll just go just some text. Perfect. Uh, I don't know what other text we could have, but that's it for now. Uh, let me not make it bold, regular, and maybe 30 pixels, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll see about the sizes later on. So that's looking good. Uh, let me group that together. We'll have this pod one. And then I'm going to uh, drag it down by holding down Alt and Shift. Alt and Shift. And there we go. And then at the top, I was thinking about having a... We don't really need a title like Pixel for Life or anything like that. Because you know what application you launched into. Maybe we'll change that later. But I was thinking of having a quick search bar at the top. So let's create a new layer. Let's clean this up a little bit first. Um, we got this. We'll group this together. These three. That's going to be that bottom bar. So tabs. And then we'll group all this together. And we'll call that center content. And then this top one, we're going to have just a search bar. So I'm going to do a rounded rectangle. And then for the radius, I'll do something crazy like 20. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. Um, hold on. Let's draw it out like this. And then we'll drag that up. And then maybe we can just put a quick icon inside of there just to show that it's a search bar. So up here, I'm going to click on the icon. And let's try and find the magnifying glass right there. And we'll make our own because this default magnifying glass is pretty lame. Um, we got a lot of icons to make. So that should be kind of fun. All right, just so we can see that's a search, that's good enough. And then on this right side, I was thinking about having advanced search options. So then you can, or a category, something like that. So here you can just draw out a quick, oops, draw out a quick button. And I don't know if I'm going to use an icon or what I'm going to use yet to signify that it's for categories. So just for now, we'll just write um, options, maybe. Let me scale this down. Options, no, options. Very good, center it. Looking nice. All right, so I'm thinking that that's all that we need. Let's zoom out real quick. And um, for center content, we just create a new layer all the way at the bottom. And I'm just going to draw, draw out a quick box right here and fill it with white. And then up top here, underneath the magnifying glass, going to draw out one more box and maybe have it a darker gray. Or maybe we'll go with orange. Let's see what that looks like. And then we can always change, it, change the colors later. 
All right, so let's group all of this together, this up here, and we'll have that search. Group all this together right here, and we'll name this template. And now we can kind of hide the background template if we wanted. We maybe keep the iPhone, but we'll get rid of Edward Sanchez's for now. Um, so that we can kind of see what it looks like on the iPhone. And uh, looks good. That is going to finish off this tutorial. So now you have a basic idea of what I want for this. We're going to have tabs at the bottom, videos right here, and then the top is going to have a search bar. Maybe we'll have some added features, kind of like um, if you use Sparrow or Tweetbot on your iPhone, when you tap on this, uh, this whole, let me grab a paintbrush real quick, just so I can you can see what I'm talking about. So when you tap on, or you slide your finger on one of these, one of these sections right here, it will actually slide it this way. So it'll only show about this much of the tab, then under here will be different options like, uh, you know, share it with someone, maybe rate it with a star. I don't know, we'll see what happens. That's just kind of ideas that I'm tossing around for now. If you have any suggestions or pictures of things that you like and you'd like to see it, uh, feel free to shoot me a PM, email, leave it in a comment. So many ways that we reach me, there's no excuses anymore. So thanks for watching and hopefully you're following along designing your own thing. And again, um, you can show me what you're making. Maybe that'll give me some ideas as well. So thanks for watching and see you very soon.